Let God heal you. Let God restore you. God is in control. And once you know that, once you let God just say, hey, it's cool. I'm in control. It's all good right here. It's all good right here. Let the Lord restore you tonight. Let the Lord restore anybody in here. Anybody that has doubts. Anybody that is carrying the burden of a lost one. Let the Lord restore you tonight. I cry, why, yo, why did my mommy have to die? Too many questions, no answers, confuses my mind. Like what did I do, what did she do? Who's to blame, no one understands what I'm going through. So how can I trust what I can't touch and can't see? Believe in love and she's in front of me. Silence in your eyes, my heart's so cold. No time for goodbyes and you leave me alone. You leave me alone So what do I do except it and carry on? I will lose my head yeah, until it's gone Show you in this world exactly how I feel That beautiful color has never been so real It's never been so real It's been me and you It's always been me and you No matter what we face We always made it through This out of the dream To what I gotta do No one can take your place And I don't want them to And I don't want them to If I take your place I would I would take your place Just to see you smile And say my name Just to see you laugh and hear you cry, I don't understand, I don't know why Lord God, I don't know why I've never been in this state of mind, life just don't make sense with you I can move mountains, but right now I'm helpless, I guess You always do what was best Believed in your God to the very last breath that you showed me Just how strong you can be If Jesus saved your life, could he do it for me? I laid down my life for you and for him Believe God, promise I'ma see you again Yes, you're right here, but I am no one Believe in your name and in your son If you meet me here, I will wait on you Sacrifice and serve, do what you want me to Do what she want me to I'll take it, take my day, and sit at your feet Cause you are starving, I am weak and I see to keep from going on down till I hold you with me I'm lost with what's that? Why? You're not wrong with what's that? Why? You're not wrong with what's that? Got I you gotta wonder Why? I wish I With you I wish I With you I wish I With you I wish I Yeah, yeah. 
My name is Noah Bernardo. I'm with Rescue Records and the Exodus Tour. And before I share a little bit with you, I want to read something to you guys out of Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. And it says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. I want you to think about that while I share a couple things with you guys. You know, God really laid it on my heart to uh, talk to you guys about where you're at today. You know, an incident just happened here in San Diego at uh, Santee High School where a young man by the name of uh, Andy lost it. And uh, unfortunately, he took two other youths' lives and injured 13 others, which is a tragedy. And that just goes to show that, you know what, what's going on with our youth today? What's really happening? And I think that there's so many challenges out there that you guys are coming up against that it's just unreal. Some of you guys are laying in bed thinking, you know, what is life really all about? Some of you are strung out on drugs. Some of you are hate your parents. Some of you just hate life, period. And some of you are just confused because maybe your parents are divorced and you're not really feeling that love. You know, I just want to share one thing with you guys, and that's Jesus' love. You know, he may just be a figment of your imagination or just a word, the name Jesus, but you know what? He's for real. 20 years ago, he changed my life. He really changed my life. I hated people. I was strung out on drugs. As a matter of fact, I even challenged God to come down and face me face to face so I could literally challenge him. You know, I wanted to fight this God that everybody was talking about, that he's so good. And I was screaming at the top of my lungs because I was so tired of life that I begged him to come down so that I could literally beat him up. I mean, seriously, I, I hated God that much because of where I was at in, in my life. And you know something, what God showed me? Now, he came down all right, and he met me, but not the way that I wanted him to meet me. He met me with his love. He wooed me. He brought me. He, he nurtured me to a place where I could see him and sense him. I can't really explain it, but Jesus explains it really cool to a man by the name of Nicodemus, who is considered, you know, he'd be like a council member in today's society. He was very wise. He, he knew the law of the land. And he came to Jesus at night because he was scared. He didn't want to be seen with Jesus, but he snuck out of his house and went and talked to Jesus. He said, Jesus, how can I get to heaven? Or how can anybody get to heaven? And Jesus looked at him with just these incredible loving eyes and said, you must be born again. And Nicodemus, I could see Nicodemus, he probably said, bango, yeah, right, whatever that means. How can I be born again? I can't, I'm an old man and I can't shove myself back into my mother's womb. I can't, how, I don't understand Jesus. And Jesus looked at him and I, and I bet with all my heart, Jesus had a little smile on his face and said, Nicodemus, you are a man of wisdom and knowledge and yet you don't understand the things of God. And Jesus began to share with him how you can be born again. 
Remember that scripture I read to you in the beginning? If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, that you will be saved. Well, that's what he meant. You have to ask God to come into your life, come into your heart, and change you. Now, I'm not saying that, you know what? You're going you're gonna to ask him to come into your life and things are going to be instant. But I tell you this. I made that challenge at the top of my lungs at 3 o'clock in the morning, walking down a dark street, and I begged him to show me who he really was because I was tired of life. And you know what? Six months later, six months, he showed me who he was. And I'm telling you, if I could rip my heart out and put it into your chest and that you could experience the love and the faithfulness of God, you would just explode because he's so awesome. He loves you guys. That's why we put this Exodus tour together so that we can go out and meet you at your playing field with the alternative music, with the rap, with the b-boy dancing, with, with lowrider car show. That's not what it's really all about, but you know what? That's what you guys can relate to, and we want to give that to you so that you can just, at the same time, be entertained. But the most important thing about this CD and the Exodus tour is that you come to a personal knowledge of Jesus Christ. I can sit here and tell you that I have been walking with Jesus since that time for 20 years today. He changed my life. He's changed my family's life. He's changed my kids' lives. And everybody that I've had an opportunity and that would give me one second of their time to share how much Jesus loves you. And they allowed him to come into their lives. He has changed their lives. Seriously, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It's for you. And you say, well, how can I do this? I'm all jacked up. I'm strung out. I'm a hooker. I'm a drug dealer. I'm this, I'm that. I'm strung out on pornography. I'm strung out on this. I hate my parents. I'm getting ready to kill somebody. How can God love me? He can. And it's very simple. Just say in your heart right now, Jesus, I confess that you are Lord and I confess that I am a sinner, that I have not been doing things the way you would have done them, the way you walked when you were here. I want that. I want you in my life, Jesus. If you're for real, come into my life. I invite you to come into my heart today and take charge of my life. If you have said that prayer and you meant it, you need to call this number because they'll send you out a free Bible. They'll hook you up with a counselor. I don't care where you're at in this country, in the United States of America, you call this number, 1-800-HIT-HOME. That's 1-800-HIT-HOME. There are counselors on the phone seven days a week, 24 hours a day to talk to you and tell you how much Jesus loves you. If you need help right now, you call that number and you tell them you said that prayer if you meant it. All right, God bless you guys. And I hope I see you at the Exodus tour somewhere in your city. I love you guys. And Jesus loves you more than I do. God bless. This is for the rock for life. All the people that believe in life. Of course you need is murder. Always. Rock for life. Pro life. Always backing up and supporting what is right. And I encourage you, fellow believers. Jesus said that he was the way, the truth, and the life. And in that way, and in that life, stands the truth. And as believers, you must fight. Stand up. It's murder. Abortion is murder. Abortion is murder. Abortion is murder. Murder. There's nothing you can say or do to justify my flesh. Abortion is murder. There's nothing you can say or do. Live and breathe it. Design.
fine hand crafted and created to serve and worship God. To serve and worship God. Where's the love? Oh, boy, I see this. Fire! Oh, boy, I see this. Fire! You got me, you can see it we got the fire of the we got you living with the fire of you. Fire! we got you living with the fire of you. we got you living with the fire of the fire of you. we got you living with the fire of you. we got you living with the fire of you. we got you living with the fire of you. we got you living with the fire of you. we got you living with the fire of you. we got you living with the fire of you. we got you living with the fire of you. we got you living with the fire of you. we got you living with the f